Yeah, so just gonna put on the egg insulator um, just there now. So I need to just cut, cut it to the required length. So giving myself lots of, of spare. So we just need to be careful that we put it on okay, that it's pulling properly, you know, that it's pulling properly. Um, it's not gonna be pulling off this way and break, break the egg insulator potentially, okay? So. Okay, so I get it in fairly close to the post. There's no need to go too close. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit in like this. Okay, and now I just need to bring the other side around. And I'm gonna get them to cross over kind of about halfway, okay? And as I do this, I'm just gonna make my handle and point it away from, so it's not in the way of the post, pointing it away. And then it's kind of pulling off roughly off center, okay? Then we do our crank handle again, so it's the same rule, trying to stretch this piece as much as possible. That's what makes the rings, okay? So you only need about three rings in the termination knot. You, you need about six on the egg insulator, and you can do less if you want to leave a weakness in the fence, um, just in terms of not doing damage if there is cattle going through it. So I'm just going to bring it around. Remember pulling outwards as I go. I'm just going to extend my handle. Same rule again from the brake, 90 degrees away from it, and then like the, like the, like this, okay? And that's our egg insulator formed.